friends, for this vlog, I wanted to show you what I decided, what we decided to do for Baby Girl's Space. So before I get to what I did, if you can see, I did this wall all by myself. I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, I want to tell you our thoughts behind where I'm at because we are in our bedroom and we decided that we weren't going to set up a nursery for baby girl until six months after she's born. And the reason why is because we have a three bedroom home. However, the master bedroom is downstairs and the nursery is upstairs. From what I understand, it's not gonna be very um, realistic to be going up and down the stairs multiple times after healing from a birth. And, you know, having to go up and down the stairs nonstop throughout the night, throughout the day. And so we thought, you know what, let's just have baby girl with us in our space for six months at least. Then we will officially have her in her nursery. What I wanted to do was at least make an accent walk for her. I wanted to get excited about that. If she's gonna be in her room, I wanted to at least have the wall for her. So let me show you what I did. I took you on a little trip to Home Depot. We picked out colors. What I didn't know was that gray is a hard color to pick because gray can either fall on more like the blue side or it can fall a little bit on the brown side. And I didn't know that. I'm very inexperienced. I have not painted, I've only painted a wall once before and that was like <laughs> maybe almost 10 years ago. So I, didn't, I don't know what I'm doing. What I should have done, don't laugh at me, I know I'm very inexperienced, but what I should have done was bought samples, put them on the wall, compare them to the colors that are in this room, and, on, and that's what experienced people do, right? Well, obviously, I didn't do that. I just, I just bought the little swatches, the little samples on the paper, and I thought that was good enough. So the first color actually didn't work. It came out like a light blue. I was, I was ticked. I didn't like it. And I did it, you know, I did it. And I, and I was like, you know what? I'm willing to do it again because I'm not cool with this color. So we went back, we got another color and it's more gray. Hopefully it looks gray on the screen too. Um, and so I did that one and um, I'm pleased with it. It's better. So what we did next, I initially looked at a wallpaper, um, a wallpaper with this herring, herringbone style. However, what it was gonna cost us for this wall, it was about to be $800. And we, we just didn't wanna spend that kind of money on that. So I did a little bit of digging. I found the herringbone style pattern stencil 
on Etsy. And let me show you what it is. It comes in this, Pencil It is the brand. And I'll go ahead and put a link down here if anyone happens to be interested in it. Um, and so it comes in that, it came all the way from Scandinavia. And so for that, for as far as it came from, they did a really good job on um, how fast their delivery was. We ordered one large stencil piece, just like this. And what you, what I did was I just, I used it and I painted over it and then I taped it off and then kept going and then kept going and then kept going. So I did it, it was fun. Ah, uh, fun wasn't really what I would say. But it's done and I'm really happy that it's done and you can see the finished project. I will say it was tedious and it took a lot of work, but it's done. I'm so glad. And now that it's all done, it was worth it. The stencil was, I think, $43.80 before shipping. So, I mean, $800 versus $43.80. I mean, it was a no-brainer. And so, yeah, it took a more effort on my part, but I was willing to do it and I had time on my hands and I'm excited for the baby. So it all worked out. Now, the only thing that you have to realize is that when you buy the wallpaper, it's obviously perfect, right? Because it's printed, every, all of the, you know, each style, everything is perfect. When you do a stencil, it's not gonna be so perfect. Um, and so at first it was a little hard for me to, be okay with that at first i was like oh my gosh i don't know if this is gonna work but from far away it looks amazing all in all i'm really glad we did that so next step is to buy her furniture our baby shower is february 16th which is you know next month so i don't know if we're gonna buy any furniture before then i don't know if we're just gonna wait it out um but on this wall i am planning on fitting her glider a bassinet, her changing slash dresser, and then a diaper pail. It's a long wall and I think it's gonna work out beautifully. I have already reorganized the closet and I started um, the things that I do have, I've already started putting that stuff out in the open. And so it was really cool, you know, I see it and I'm thinking, man, this is real, it feels it feels more real. And Mondo, he came home and saw that I reorganized the closet and he sees baby girl stuff right in front of him. And he's like, wow, this is real. This is happening. <laughs> so it's just so cool to, it's, it's, it's beyond. I, I'm overwhelmed with joy, with gladness. It's almost like I believe it. And it's almost like, I can't believe it. You know, I mean, this girl is growing. Today we are in our third trimester. We're 28 weeks. I just couldn't be happier. I'm so thankful that we're actually here. And there's not a day that goes by that I still don't look at my body and say, I just can't believe this is my body. Because I think for so many years, I looked at so many women who are pregnant and I longed for it for so long. And now that I am, I'm just like, this is really happening. So I'm really excited. That's it. I just wanted to show you what I did, what we did for her room or our room slash her space. And um, yeah, we're excited about it. We're super duper excited about it. And then I get to do it again when, you know, we put her in her nursery. So although probably at that time I'll have Mondo, you know, kind of do the wall. Cause this time I did it for, I did, I did it because I had this time, but I'll probably need help when that time comes. So anyway, that is it for now. Take care, all of you lovelies. Thanks again for being here. Until next time, we'll see you then. Thank you.